Hey guys, this is Psycho50501 and I'm back for another review and this time it is the NECA 1-4 scale Arkhamite Batman. Um, I just got this guy in today from calendars.com. I will post a link in the description below with the coupon code where you guys can get this for about $80 shipped. So that's about $20 to $30 off. Um, the normal retail price because if you add shipping and shipping is anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars because this guy is big but I will uh, first show you the box and then <clears throat> show you a close up of him and then get him out of the package and all that uh, whatnot. But uh, here's the front of the box where it says Arkham Knight right there and then it has the like um, it has a nice uh, Arkham uh, game cover, and then it says one four scale action figure in DC Comics. Over right here, it has a couple images of Batman, promo images. Man, this guy looks awesome. Arkham Knight logo, one four scale action figure. And then on the back, it has him just standing. And then it has the Arkham logo, it includes two pairs of hands, articulated grapple gun, and battering and belt clips. And on the other side, shows him holding the grapple gun and then uh, holding the grapple gun and the battering on his belt. And then I will move in for a closer look. Sorry for the glare, but what can you do? I mean, that armor is detailed. So yeah guys, uh, that's the outside of the box and I will bust this guy open and uh, we'll go over his accessories, his additional hands, his articulation, all that jazz. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we're back for, oh I thought the, uh, excuse me. The uh, NECA 1-4 scale Arkham Knight Batman, and man, he is impressive. I swear, NECA keeps on getting better and better with their Batmans. I mean, first the West, then the Keaton, then the Origins, and now this one, and Danny DeVito Penguin comes out next month. Man, they are just wowing us. I can't wait to see how they uh, do uh, hopefully Catwoman and uh, Batman Returns Batman with hopefully a torn cow. But yeah, I'll go over his accessories and uh, his extra hands, so, yeah. Okay, he comes with the battering. And looky here. It folds. That's my only minor complaint on the, uh, it has like some paint scuffs and nice detail on that. That was my only complaint on the uh, Arkham Origins Batman is it didn't fold. And then he comes with the grapple gun. And look. This it articulates. And then of course comes with this. I'll get in there. Nice detail on that too. For some reason these don't go out as far as on the Park Morgan's one, but that's okay. And then he comes with this belt clip. It's just standard black for the grapple gun. And then this belt clip for the battery to clip on his belt. 
then he comes with a hand for holding in the battering. Look at that fucking detail. I'm not complaining one bit. I mean, for eighty dollars, this is a. It's just amazing. And then the hand to hold the grapple gun. I don't own any Hot Toys One Force or Intervey, but I've seen pictures of people post these guys right next to the Intervey and Hot Toys. And uh, you can't even tell they're uh, $80 figures. Okay, now on to the figure. I will do the best I can, but he's so goddamn big, I'm not sure. But as you can see, he has a nice face sculpt. I'll zoom in. As I can do, a little focus. I mean, look at that face. It has like nice, like metalish microfiber, uh, not microfiber, but carbon fiber textures. I mean, he is just badass. His neck only goes like that far, but it's not that big of a deal. He don't look down, he don't look up too well, but, you know. And then I'll go over the details of the gauntlets. Part of me while I lower the camera. I mean, look at that detail. You can even see, like, the texture right there. I mean, it's just amazing. I'll go down some more where you can see his belt. All these pouches and whatnot. It's like a soft material, so, yeah. I mean, this looks like a three, $400 figure, you know. NECA really did a vain up job. Gauntlets are like a soft material. There's some weathering on his hands and that. And then see, you can see the texture right there on his pants. Boots, nice silverish, grayish, and that could get a bang up job. But there's the figure, guys, and I will show you the back of the cape. I'm probably going to upgrade the cape to a Tony May cape like I always do once uh, Tony May uh, um, comes out with the cape. He's working on one, but yeah. But this is NECA's best cape yet. It's really stiff though. But as you can guys see, it has the design like in the game. It's just like really I don't know, stiff or something. I don't know, something about it is not quite right. But, but yeah. I'll zoom out a little bit more for size comparisons. This guy is the 7 inch um, 89 NECA. And you can see how big he is. It's ungodly huge.
But yeah, guys, uh, that's my review for the uh, Arkham Knight Batman. Um, I'm trying to think what else is coming in the next month or so. Um, really not much. I will be adding gameplay and um, reviewing Mario Maker. I cannot wait for that game for the Wii U. I don't have a direct capture, so I'm going to have to record it off my camera. Hope you guys don't mind, but um, if you guys know of any good capture device that is not required to use the computer simultaneously, like if you can record HD video but like via a USB drive or a USB hard drive, uh, let me know because I'm looking for one and all I'm finding is Elgato and I don't have enough RAM in my computer to run the Elgato. So, but uh, if you guys know of anything, uh, let me know, and then I'll try to uh, get it for I can have a uh, Wii U gameplay. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, guys, that's my review. And um, oh yeah, be on the lookout for either next week or the week after for my finally finished one six scale Halloween 1978 Michael Myers. But until then, I'll keep watching and keep on collecting.